from science, we go to spelling. Central Indiana should be very proud. We have seven students in Washington, D.C. for this week's Scripps National Spelling Bee, and one of them is Ollie Wilt of Martinsville. RTV6's Shannon Sampson has her story you will only see on RTV6. A uh, hieroglyphist, H-I-E-R-O-G-L-Y-P-H-I-S-T. This is Allie Wilt's huh. idea of a good time. Acetyl salicylic acid. Paging through the dictionary and spelling words out loud. I guess it's fun for me. It comes easy to me. And uh, when I see a word, it kind of, like, sticks in my head. Like, and then when I go to spell it, it just, like appears in my mind. That photographic memory has served her well. Wilt has won the spelling bee at her school four times and gone on to regionals. This fourth time, the eighth grader at Martinsville's Bell East Middle School clinched that too, correctly spelling the word knocked music. That's a German word that means night music. So now it's off to Washington, D.C. to compete in the Scripps National Spelling Bee. I'm really just excited to see how I compare to the others. Um, and collaborate with a lot of people who really love spelling. Oh, God. Not everyone, you know, understands how. You know, someone can love spelling so much. You would have to love it. Paradiplomatic. To do this. R-A-D-I-P. All day. O-M-A-T-I. Every day. And lug a heavy dictionary oh, everywhere you go, even on the plane to D.C. That's pretty much my study tool for the majority of the B. Wilt says it's enough just to qualify for nationals, so she's keeping her expectations practical, only thinking briefly about what would happen if she actually wins. <laughs> I would probably scream and cry. <laughs> Shannon Sampson, RTV6. I bet. The Scripps National Spelling Bee preliminaries begin tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock. The semifinals and championship are on Thursday, and Scripps is the parent company of RTV6. Fair.